Yo, what's up guys? I'm breaking down a Wheezy type melody today. I'm gonna post this melody down in the description. So if y'all wanna go ahead and make a beat with it, um, just do that. This is what the melody sounds like. Yeah, so pretty simple melody. Simplicity is the key for those. Um, you can go crazy, but uh, just be cautious when it comes to you know using horns and shit because it can get quite annoying with time. And um, yeah, so I just went with the first preset out of context, Session Horns Pro Performance, and I went with the Vintage Section preset and this voicing. And um, this is what the first melody sounds like. Yeah, so what I did with this melody to create this um, specific bounce is um, I kind of played with the velocities and especially with the length of the notes. Meaning, uh, as y'all can hear, if I just use a staccato note, it sounds like this. Yeah, and the long note sounds like this. And this playing in between just gives it a nice bouncy vibe. And there's no special effects on here, just an ozone imager. And that's just to stereoize it and widen it up. Um, this image is for free, so go get that. And uh, yeah, that's already the first and main melody. There's not much to say for the chords. I just went by ear to be honest, so I can't explain that much um, going on right here. But it's a major chord because it's pretty melodic. melodic and um, yeah, this is uh, just a simple, simple melody. And I just repeated it over and over as you can see. So yeah. Nothing too special. Next up, we have another element out of contact. This time it's um, a bell that's kind of in the background and it's this preset out of Atom. And this is what that melody sounds like. Now, like I said, it's pretty tuck in the back background, so you can barely hear it. Um, there's no effects on here because Atom already has some effects on there, mainly reverb and some chorus effects. And so, yeah, that's that. Um, next up, we have another element, and that's actually kind of the lead sound, I guess. Um, it's out of Ethnoworld 6, the voices section, and um, this is the preset that I went with. And then this is the melody that I laid down. And the cool thing about this, it's kind of um, like the preset already tells, um, it's kind of phrases, so you can chop those up and kind of go with it um, like arcade, but a little, a little bit of a different vibe, that's why I like it. And um, there's a fruity chorus on here with um, kind of presets that I just played with. And then a fruity law filter turned down to about 50%, a little less, yeah, um, 38%, and same thing goes for the free chorus. And then just a paramedic EQ cutting out um, some frequencies, but I normally, this preset is um, right now empty, so we're just gonna adjust it so y'all can hear. All right, and like that, it just cuts out the low end mostly and then some of the high end, but not too much. And yeah, that's already the main elements, like I said. Now, next up, we have a one shot that I went with. Um, it's this perk right here, and I think it's out of uh, a free kit that's from Georgie from Internet Money, and it's the sauce drum kit, but I'm not quite sure if it is. Um, it's kind of a perk sound. Yeah, it's, it's right here out of this stack right here. And um, like I said, I'm quite sure this kit is free, so get that if you want to. And this is what that thing sounds like. So this is not routed to any mixer track. Um, so there's no effects on here, just the simple effects that came with it. And yeah, this is what the whole sample sounds like together. And um, this is already gonna be it for the video. I just laid out the parts, so nothing special to explain here. Just let me know what you wanna see next um, because it's hard for me to tell um, without any you know, suggestions. So yeah, just leave them in the comments and see y'all.